Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is a continuation of our lectures on the introduction to syntax. This lecture today is going to be about lexical categories. We are going to see the inventory of the lexical categories and their characteristics. So we start. Uh, in today's recording, I'm presenting the characteristics of the lexical categories, namely nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, using the three criteria that we explained in the previous lecture. What I mean, we're going to see the lexical categories at the level of their semantic criterion, their morphological uh, properties, and their syntactic and distributional characteristics. So we start by the first kind of lexical categories, which is the noun. Semantically, nouns are usually used to name a person, or a place, or a thing, or an abstract idea, like beauty, anger, justice and so on. However, in very rare or few cases, a noun can be used to denote an action, like a word like a thumb, when you do like this. This is an action which is expressed by a noun. So sometimes some nouns can express actions like verbs. The second characteristic of nouns has to do with their morphological specification. Most nouns have plural forms. They inflect for the S of the plural in English, is if they are regular, like pen becomes pens, class becomes classes. If the noun is irregular, then the plural becomes irregular, like children, knives, sheep, which has no uh, morphological change. As far as the syntactic or distributional characteristics of the nouns, the nouns usually have a determiner except proper names like John, Patrick, Mary, and so on. So nouns, they take a determiner, which occurs before them. Nouns you also can be modified by an adjective. And sometimes the adjective occurs before the noun. Sometimes, and in very few cases, it occurs after the noun. The following lexical category is the one of the verbs. At the semantic level, the verbs usually describe an action, a process, or a state of being. Morphologically, the verbs can be conjugated to the per third person uh, singular, past tense, past participle, present participle, like if you have the verb to walk, it becomes walks, walked, or walking. The verb go becomes goes, went, which is an irregular form, gone and going. Syntactically, verbs can combine with auxiliaries. So we have an ox plus v, like what you can see in the examples below. Will go, have seen, should run, must leave, is swimming, and so on. Verbs can be modified by an adverb also. So sometimes the adverb again occurs before the verb, sometimes after the verb, like if you have usually sleep here the adverb occurs before the verb read carefully the adverb occurs after the verb the third kind of lexical categories is the adjective the meaning of the adjectives normally they describe a quality or attribute like intelligent happy tall bigger morphologically the adjectives 
uh, allow for the derivation of comparatives or superlatives uh, like tall, taller, tallest, strong, stronger, strongest. Again, many adjectives can be changed into adverbs by the addition of the suffix li. Kind becomes kindly, happy, happily, beautiful, beautifully. At the syntactic level, adjectives modify nouns and they occur before them. And we have seen this uh, syntactic criterion also with the nouns. So we have tall man, the adjective occurs before the noun. Cool day, again, adjective occurring before the noun. Wonderful trip. But in some cases, the adjectives can occur after the noun, like when you have the authority general. Adjectives can be modified by an adverb also. So they can modify a noun and they can be modified by an, ad an adverb. Like examples that you have below, very clever, extremely clever, usually hot, and so on. The fourth lexical category is the, the one of the adverb. Adverbs usually describe manner, degree, or quality, or quantity of an action, or of a process, or a state of being like quickly, soon, morally, today, here, very, before, and so on. Morphologically, adverbs are often formed from adjectives by the suffix li, and we have seen this before. Though there are some irregular forms like good, which becomes well in its adverb form, fast, which, which remains as fast, or uh, other uh, irregular forms of the adverbs. Uh, syntactically, adverbs are used to modify verbs, hence the uh, prefix ad coming before the term verb. They also modify adjectives and often they modify other adverbs. So an adverb can occur after the verb as it can occur before the verb. Stop abruptly, usually eat, as examples. Sometimes also adverbs, as we have seen, occur before the adjectives. Amazingly cheap, amazingly cheap, very bad, quite nice. Adverbs can modify adverb, as we have seen, very quickly, quite soon. But we have to uh, bear in, uh, in mind that there are sometimes some words can belong to more than one category. Sometimes they are classified as verbs. In other cases, they can be classified as nouns. This depends on the context. So if you see the examples below, she talks very much. The word talks here is a verb. But when you say she is very, she is giving three talks, talks becomes a noun. So the same word can be classified into different categories depending on the context. The other example, it's cold versus I got a cold. In other cases, they have completely different meanings. They can be classified in different categories and they have different meanings, like I can't bear the noise. The word bear here, okay, which is a verb. And then there is a bear in the wood, which refers to an animal, which is noun. I have also three barks versus the dog barks. Virtually all English nouns can be turned into verbs. Uh, in the following lecture, we're going to move to the second type of syntactic categories, which are called functional categories. So thank you very much and see you then.